Well, also coming the race for the number one pick in the draft, the upcoming draft, and according to our football power index, the Raiders have a 51% chance to earn that number one pick. After that, it's the Cardinals at 22%, the, the Niners at 16, and both teams in the Big Apple rounding out the top five. And so with that in mind, We'll take a look at the top 10 prospects in Mel Kuyper Jr.'s big board. Defense clearly dominating the top 10. 10 players on this list with defensive end Nick Bosa at number one. Bosa suffered a core muscle injury. He has withdrawn from school to rehab and get ready for the draft. The offensive player in Mel's top 10 is Oregon quarterback Justin Herbert. And this is no coincidence because guess who's here? Mel Kuyper Jr. Hello, Mel. Hello, uh, Wendy. Let's talk about the, the top mm -hmm. prospect on your big board because it, we're in a, you know unusual mm -hmm. territory. He's not even playing right now. What has you so confident in Nick Bosa? I think the fact that he has obviously been a dominant player, we know that. So that's a given. You know, can he stay healthy once he's in the league? We'll find that out. He had an ACL, a senior year in high school, Wendy, then the core muscle surgery. So that's two injuries in a four-year period. But when he's out there 100%, he's a dominant defensive end. He's what the NFL wants in terms of that outside pass rush. As long as you have an interior presence, he'll come after you from the outside. So I don't see anybody out moving him out of that top spot unless you think quarterback. And that's where Justin Herbert from Oregon, his name would come up if you're looking at a quarterback at the number one spot. Well, it's interesting you say that because this is an entirely different draft class that happens from year to year. This isn't about all the quarterbacks like it was last year. So he is, Justin Herbert, your highest rated quarterback, and he's moved up the board. But how would he rank in a much deeper quarterback class? Well, if you put him in the last year, say, and say, where would he rank with, you know, Baker Mayfield, Josh Allen, Josh Rosen, and Sam Darnold, he would have been right in that discussion. I mean, he is a physically and athletically gifted quarterback, ideal size, big-time arm, mobility, incredibly smart. Yeah, there are times he holds the ball too long. His accuracy at times is a little inconsistent. But And I'd like to actually let me see him go back for another year and really put it all together like an Andrew Luck did, like a Peyton Manning did, Eli Manning. Those quarterbacks went back and benefited from that extra year that they had. So I think in Justin Herbert's case, I think he's considering it. Will he do it? Knowing he's going to be very highly regarded. The Giants picking up there obviously would have to look at him. But I think Justin Herbert, you just basically have to roll the dice on a kid with that much talent and that much upside. How about a surprise quarterback making his way into the big board this time around? That would be Daniel Jones. I highlighted him on ESPN.com this week based on what he did against North Carolina last week when he beat the, you're talking about beating the Tar Heels with his arm and his legs. And he's an underrated athlete. He's 6'5", 220. I love the way he maneuvers in the pocket. He's got a compact release, and he has that David Cutcliffe factor. David Cutcliffe coached six quarterbacks that are in the NFL, led, of course, by Peyton and Eli Manning. That certainly will help Daniel Jones in terms of transitioning into the National Football League. 20 of the 25 names on this big board play defense. Can you think of a draft that was this defense heavy? No, and I think you look at that, and there could be more, Wendy. There's nine defensive linemen in the top 25, seven others that were borderline. That's 16 defensive linemen considered first or early second round picks. We haven't had that before. It's really, if you look at it, there's linebackers led by Devin White from LSU and Devin Bush from Michigan. You got Josh Allen out of Kentucky, an outside backer. You got the cornerback and Greedy Williams, a safety in Deontay Thompson. Other corners as well, like Julian Love from Notre Dame, DeAndre Baker, Georgia, Byron Murphy, Washington. So whatever position defensively, Wendy, you're looking for, you will find it in the first and second round of this draft and well beyond because of the great depth on the defensive side of the ball. All right, Mel, we don't often get to talk to you in November. The big board of Thanksgiving food. Give me your top three in a hurry. Well, right now, I'd say pumpkin pie, number one, turkey and dressing, two, three. But pumpkin pie trumps everything, Wendy. Yeah, and don't put whipped cream on that. We know how upset you fat get. Fat-free whipped cream. Yeah. Oh, right. oh, oh, excuse me. Okay, you, you'll take it. Uh -huh. All right, Mel. Ready, whipped, fat-free whipped cream, the best. Okay, yep. fair enough. Mel, thank you. We will talk to you shortly. <laughs>